got her. No way. No way. We got her. We got her. We got her. Oh my gosh. It's a big. What's going on guys? Happy Easter, man. This is crazy. Literally out here at a spot that would normally be packed on Sunday brunch and there's just nobody in sight. Sending the boardwalk, North Dallas suburbs. And anyways, we have a special vlog for you guys today. Throwing something you've never seen me throw, a glide bait by Arashi. Uh, aside from the packaging, which I think looks a little tacky and like one of those as seen on TV ads, everything about this thing is supposed to be completely legit. We grabbed this recently from Bass Pro Shops in the, uh, shoot, where is that one? In the grapevine, that big grapevine one. And so we're gonna take this thing out. We're gonna pond hop today, and I am so dedicated to catching a fish on this, I doubt I'm gonna throw anything else. I literally brought my eight foot, 13 fishing D5 black swim bait rod. This thing is a heavy sucker. We're gonna untie what we've got on here, and we are gonna go big with that storm, a Rashi storm, and this is in the Oikawa Mesu color. Uh, anyways, it's just super standout-ish. And I've seen a video on Tactical Bassin, and some people actually recommend this color highly. I also was turned on to this color by my buddy who actually was throwing a Roman Maiden Negotiator that looked very similar to this color pattern. It should be a lot of fun, but here's also something that might switch things up for us. Yesterday there was some storms in the Dallas area, and today the bite might be a little bit slower than normal. That's why I'm starting at some smaller ponds here where, I have has, where I've had some confidence, especially on like a moving bait bite. And a lot of these bass right now are actually probably on edge and guarding fry. They're guarding their young. They just have spawned in a lot of the ponds in our area. And so I'm thinking I could get an aggressive bass to, to bite this thing, working it slowly. It's gonna be a ton of fun, man. I'm just looking forward to trying something new and providing some awesome content for you guys on an otherwise uh, bummer of a, an Easter holiday because a lot of us are not able to get outside. I know if you've got kids, you can't take them to the parks really and get in on the Easter festivities and egg hunts. Uh, you know, a lot of churches are not open, and so we're trying to make the best of it out here and do some fishing and at least provide you guys with a little bit of entertainment at home. I really hope you guys enjoy this one. We're going to go ahead and not delay any further. We've got all the gear on hand. Let's get this thing rigged up and in the water, man. I I'm very excited. Beautiful Easter Sunday. Beautiful. It is 80 degrees out here and uh, partly cloudy. Couldn't ask for better conditions. A little breeze. Let's get this thing in the water and try and catch something on it. So I literally just got halfway through like tearing this thing up using this guy right here only to realize that you can literally like peel this back and open it right up. It's very weird, but only one piece of one of the trebles has this protectant on it. Ow! I don't know why that is, but it is. Look at this thing right here. Holy smokes. Guys, we're going for big bass today. I know we're starting at maybe a small fish pond just because I want to get some bites if that's going to happen, but we're going for some big fish today. I'm looking forward to it. This thing comes with an extra tail. Man, I am curious to see how this thing performs. Never used anything like it. It's gonna be fun. All right, guys, we got her tied on Palomar knot. 17 pound fluorocarbon might be my only weak link today, but uh, I don't have any 20 or heavier, so it's just gonna have to do. It's just gonna have to do. Let's see if we can't catch something on this bad boy right here. You're recommended to change out the hardware on this bait before ever throwing it, because apparently these split rings and treble hooks are not the best. That comes from uh, Tactical Bassin, which I definitely take to heart. So I would say that's going to be next on the agenda for me is switching out all this hardware after, uh, after today. I've just had this thing sitting literally in the kitchen for like a week wanting to do a video on it and a review and I wanted to get the, the better hardware for it before I did. But Easter Sunday, man, I had to bust out something special. Let's go ahead and get him. All right, guys, here we are, man. When the moving bite is on here, it is on. We're going to try and uh, catch us that first bass. First cast. Let's just check this retrieve. fishing <laughs> yeah this thing is like just on the surface basically Let's see if it sinks if I work it slower oh my gosh we just got bumped either that or I just hit a twig it might be sinking kind of low this thing looks good oh I got a follower right here he's under it guys this bass is under it Literally, there's like a two pounder following it. I think it might have seen me. Wow, we just had a follower. Holy cow. Oh, we just got hit. Oh my gosh. 
Somebody just tried to thrash it. Probably sideswiped it and just missed the hook. Whoo, that felt good. Just to confirm, once I get this thing up here, I'm gonna check the hooks and see if there's grass on here. I'm working it slow, so it probably wouldn't have popped off, so we'll know for sure. It could have been a twig, I suppose, but oh, I think we got a follower here. Yep, got one following it. Dang, that one probably followed it all the way over here. Crazy. Let's try and hit him from a different angle. Oh my God, exploded out of the water. So sick. Oh God, something just went after it. Guys, this thing is getting an insane amount of follows too. So cool. Only gonna cast here a couple more times and then I'm gonna make a switch and hit him from a different angle. We keep getting bumped right here though. I must be cruising over a bed. Oh, got him, got him. Yes, no way, no way. Yes, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at him, smashed it. Yes, yes. Oh, that gets me freaking psyched. Holy shit. <laughs> What a beast. How are we gonna play this? Nope, monstrous smash right there. And I think you guys may have even been able to see that hit hooked right in the top of the mouth. Dang it, man, that was such a sick smash. And we got him on that front treble hook. That is what I'm talking about. Holy smokes, first ever time throwing that Arashi Glide, working it slow right here along this grass edge. We got multiple hits. It might've been the same guy every single time, but that is just insane. I'm ready to get a couple more on this baby. How cool, what an insane bait. Happy Easter indeed. All right, buddy. Happy Easter. Freaking amazing. Let's try that same spot one more time. I, uh, I got a lot of hits right here and I don't know if it was that same bass or not. So let's just take a look here. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly check my line. Make sure the teeth from that bass didn't fray it right here. Feeling pretty good, feeling pretty good. All right, let's go for round two, man. So crazy. And we got a lot more ponds to hit. This is just the first one. I've never caught anything probably bigger than three pounds out of here. So I'm super pumped to try this thing out in some bigger bass waters. Woo! Cast afterwards. This is the follow-up cast to that catch. Creeping it along that same grass line, thinking there might be more beds and more aggressive bass. And I was right. Oh my gosh. Back to back cast. You gotta be kidding. Got to be freaking kidding. Yes. Yes. No way. No way. Is this for real? What the heck? Ooh, these trebles are freaking strong too. There we go. Holy cow, guys. Second fish. Second cast. Two in a row. Two casts in a row. And we're gonna get this thing back in the water. She is feisty. No way, the follow-up cast. We're casting there one more time. Let's see if we can get a triple threat. I don't even know if I would've got two back-to-back -back on anything else I threw in here. So crazy. I would say that is almost unbelievable. Okay, let's clean this thing off and go for three. Don't forget to check your line. Do not forget, especially if you're like me, using lighter line when it comes to a bait like this size. This is a little over three ounces. Now this rod is capable of uh, four to eight ounce lures. So this isn't even, this isn't even breaking a sweat right here, this 13 fishing rod. But that line, I wanna be real careful with. And I am just steady reel, slow creeping it. Nothing, I didn't even pop the reel. I'm not doing any twitches on those catch casts. I did earlier, but on those last two casts where I caught fish, I've just been creeping it slow. And they just come and smash it as it swims across that grass line near their beds. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing right now. He's just gliding over the grass. Whoo, okay, time to move and try another spot. I just want to see if we can go three for three. Beds are right here by my feet, guys. So they are protecting some fry possibly out there. I don't know if they're post-spawn or pre-spawn. One just whipped at it, oh my gosh. One just literally went for it. I told you guys when the bite is on here, the bite is on. This is, this is, I'm thrilled. Look at these uh, swiveling hooks. That way there's less leverage when those fish go to thrash. Some hooks are fixed, but these rotate. That way they can't use the weight of this bait to help them get this thing unhooked. So we shouldn't miss as many fish as if they were stationary. Quality glide bait, man. I've been hearing a lot about this thing, not necessarily in this color, but I'm pumped I got this color just because they say, you know, it's, it's so unique 
it almost looks like nothing and looks like everything at the same time. That's how Tactical Bassin explained it. Like, it looks like a little bit of everything, although it doesn't look like any one thing specifically. And it just catches their attention. You know, it's got that flash. It's cruising slow. They don't know what it is. It's just completely out of the blue. And they want to know if it tastes good. We've missed a couple hits. There's been a few short strikes for sure. But we've also got two back to back now. Imagine if these fish were bigger. They would just smash it. Here comes one. One's, one's on it. One's on it, guys. I don't think he's going to attack. Okay, we missed him, but you get so many followers on this. I don't even have my polarized lenses. They're coming right up to the surface and looking at it, though. Oh, my God. A big one's on it. A big one's on it. I'm going to leave it sitting still. Just twitched it. Oh, my gosh, guys. So crazy. I might try and have to hit this one from another angle. I'm going to walk it down just a little bit. We're gonna switch positions on this bass here. Let's cast it parallel again. Seems to be the money. And we got this eight foot rod, so it's really extended out over that grass. Oh, we just got hit, just got hit. Guys, they are all along this side of the bank. Look at that one in the light. Look at that one in the light, chasing it. No way. Maybe we can get him. He's circling back though. He's circling back. He sees us too. He's just. I think this thing just pisses them off so much. It's so bulky and like nothing they've ever seen. They're willing to attack it just to see what, what it is. I can guarantee you these fish have never seen this lure in this pond. It's just so different. We're going to get this guy right off his bed. He's in the shallows. Let's see if we can get a different vantage point. All right, what's going on over here? A few more casts here, then we're going to try another pond, you guys. See if we can't get three out of this one, though. I wonder if they're up against this wall as well. Got ourselves a bag, that doesn't help. Do your part. All right guys, in an absolutely nuts turn of events, we've already caught two fish, had countless followers and bites. I'm just stunned and so thrilled and happy right now, it's ridiculous. I think though we are gonna try another pond. I'm sure we could get a couple more bass off that bank over there, but I, I wanna hit some new water, try something a little bit different. So we're gonna walk it down a little bit and then drive to another spot around here and uh, hopefully link up with something. I I'm trying to go for something over four or five pounds today on this thing. I mean, this will attract double digit bass right here, but the thing is, getting these things to commit and uh, just getting that bite. It's gonna be a challenge, man, but we're up for it. Happy Easter, y'all. Let's go. All right, guys, first cast at the second pond. See what might follow it up. Oh, speaking of seeing what might follow it, I need to put on my uh, gill goggles. Now, I wonder how many fish I missed chasing up just because I wasn't wearing polarized lenses at that last pond. <laughs> this backpack is dope, by the way. Red gills, if you haven't seen it. All the essentials and then some. Angle you guys down a little bit better so you get a better... Oh, one's looking at it. One's under it. One's under it. He's thinking about it. It's a little guy, though. I mean, like, he's not much bigger than the bait. You guys can probably see him. He's just literally right in front of us. Maybe you'll be able to. I don't know. He doesn't know what this thing is. He's like, Daddy? <laughs> Here we go, guys. This is the side. A lot of beds. Found one on a bed. Oh, he went for it, guys. Oh my God, he went for it. Insane. He tried to get that thing off his bed. Oh, dang, he almost had it again. This one's a little bit bigger than the first, uh, couple I caught I think you guys we're gonna work this thing off its bed it doesn't like it I really hope we can get him in the next few casts before he's totally over this thing good news is so far this bass ain't going anywhere might have to hit him with the hyper dangle guys you know they're being a little finicky so I had to run back to the truck I grabbed the uh, Texas rig if that doesn't work with this trench hog on it I'm gonna go ahead and throw maybe a finesse jig or the new junior size gook and baits after this bad boy just uh, too nice of a fish to not catch for you guys despite the fact that it's not really 100% active on this glide bait so let's try and rip them out of here
something a little different. First cast. Got him. Come on up. That's what I'm talking about, guys. So sometimes you just got to switch it up. We took that glide bait off of there. First cast, we already had her riled up. There we go, guys. That's all it takes. Sometimes you got to switch up the technique, throwing that glide bait in and in and in and in. Finally, Mama decided to commit on that trench hog, man. Bama bug color chopped down just a little bit. First cast, too easy. See you, Mamacita. All right, just let her go. She's gonna be right back on that bed in no time. Oh no, I didn't hit record. Me. Well, I messed that up again, man. I'm like the king of not recording. I've got so much stuff going on. I was trying to get that fish. I set the camera down on the backpack with perfect composition and I didn't have it recording and I did the whole talk for you guys on camera with the fish in my hand, weighed it and everything. And I think I had even stopped the GoPro, GoPro from rolling. And so what happened, man, is we just got her riled up. The glide bait, really the MVP out here. Uh, I mean, that fish ate first cast because it was so angry with all this stuff coming into that bed, but then also wouldn't commit to that larger size. So sometimes you just got to downsize, drop it down, finesse jigs, junior Guggen baits, throw some smaller finesse presentations, throw a Ned rig and catch those fish that otherwise wouldn't go after those larger baits. So let's walk this thing and try and get some more. The thing is with that glide, a lot of them show interest the first few casts and then they're over it. So you really got to just get them by surprise and hope they hit that reaction bite. Yeah, man. Yeah. Did you really? That's dope. I've never fished that place. It's, it looks amazing. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's crazy. Always big ones out there, man. I just got like a two and a quarter off this bed. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Let's see what else we got down here on the bank. It's starting to get real windy. These fish are going to be harder to see. Oh, speaking of, there's one right there. Uh oh. Well, I got one right here. Let's see if I can snag him real quick. That one's showing no interest. Yes, sir. There's no fishing allowed. I'll head out of here. I'm sorry. I appreciate you. How's your day going? Fine. Fine. Have a good one. All right, y'all. We just got the boot. So I think what we are going to do is head down the street and uh, hit up this uh, neighborhood pond. We've been hitting a few times lately and haven't been getting many bites, but I want to see if I can get a big one to follow it. So we're going to head up north a bit see uh if she don't produce today side note i guess we got super lucky because we caught that fish like right before we got kicked out so timing was on our side today i wonder if there's anything big along the bank but the thing is it's tough to see him now with all the wind picking up anyway so we are not stressing at all we are on to the next location we're gonna have some fun and try and catch some bigger fish let's get after him <laughs> dude i'm not even the only one getting kicked out of here my name is weston what's the name man Colin. yeah nothing crazy today I, I, was, I was trying to throw a glide bait though and catch some big fish but I don't know if there's any fatties in this this one, just numbers. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm heading up the street somewhere too, because I yep. got the boot. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you. Have a good one. Good luck out there. Okay, we have just pulled up to the next spot, and let me tell you what, it is crowded. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six rods, and that family over there might just be taking photos. But anyways, we're at another local park. The water is not nearly as clear, so I probably won't spend as much time here. Probably just going to give this a quick in and out rundown, see if we can't see anything on beds, glide right on up to them, and if they don't bite, we're headed to the next spot. But let's not get, let's not be pessimistic here. Let's be positive. I got a strong feeling we might still get a bite here. Oh man, but I got to put a little, little bit of this on the back of the neck. I got the nose earlier, but just a little touch up here. All right, maybe a little, a little breeze on the arm. Nothing too crazy, you know, just stay protected. Lock that back. Carl's bait and sunshine box. You know, I don't have any doubts that the Bama trench hog would get a lot of bites here, but that ain't Easter special worthy. If we find one on a bed that won't hit this, we'll come back for it. If any of these is clear, it looks like this one. These ones look a little too stained for me. Wonder why no one's over here hitting this one. Wow, I mean, like this one's crystal, almost crystal clear. Mm, nothing chasing it so far. Got to follow a good size. Try and get one on the inside of this grass line. I don't know if the uh, fish in here are going to commit, you guys. We'll have to see. Any on beds over there? Not that I saw, no. All right, what, do you, what you got? Little, little. Dude, I had a big follower right over there on the end, edge of that rock. Just kind of chase it straight up, so maybe your smaller deal would get him. Yeah. Probably three pounds for sure. I appreciate that, man. Yep. Oh, two good bass. We talked with homie over there. He didn't see any on beds, but then those two just scurried away. 
but uh, I'm getting a little bit better with this thing, man. You can kind of steer it because if you're trying to go in a straight line, you can, you know, reel it pretty consistently. But if you're trying to get it to almost go farther to the right or to the left, you just let it hang out and go a little bit further that time before you hit the reel. And you can get it to go pretty much where you want it. It's kind of crazy. It seems uncontrollable at first, but I was getting better at it after trying to work that one bass on that bed at the last pond. It's pretty funny, but I've been kicked out of here before. It, there's no signs that say no fishing here, but I've been kicked out and there's like 15 people fishing. Security would not even, they'd have a heyday, dude. They don't even know what to do. All right, I think it's probably time to split. Oh my God, I see like a five pounder. But okay, this is the spot right here. I'm gonna give this a second. This is insane. Big fish, guys, five pounder at least. The girls back there a little ways. The male's roaming around this bed. They're not gonna eat this. I need to go grab something else. All right, guys, let's throw something in a little bit smaller and they might be more aggressive towards. It's gonna hit it, guys. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Mama does not like this. Let's see if they'll hit the hog like at the last spot. I just really want to get the female. Big mama just came in to look at the glide. Trench hog coming in hot while that one's still on the bed. Getting him fired up now. He struck it. That was good. Almost had him. This is crazy. I've been working this glide in here and then I go in afterwards with the trench hog. Okay, he's got his eyes on the glide and then I'm gonna come in here with the hog. Here we go, here we go. We almost had Big Mama right there. She almost went for that as I was bashing it up against the wall. That was crazy. Wow, this is just a game of chess. Checkmate. Gotcha. Now watch this. I'm gonna let him go off the bed just a little bit so I can try and get the mom. There you are, killer. No more male to guard the bed. Let's get this thing it's moving in. She doesn't like when I bang this glide against the wall. What's going on, man? How are y'all? All right, that's a deal. Uh, yes. Yep. She picky. Yeah, she is. All right, I'll hit him with it. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. That's a good one. You too. All right, gang. We're going with something different. We've been working this lady for a while, but we're going with black and blue. A little juicy. On a recommendation from the homies, saying they like black and blue in these waters. We finna find out, ain't we? I'm just gonna rip off a little bit of this bandito bug and we're gonna go Okeechobee crawl with that bright blue. Separate these pinchers so we get all the action. We're gonna go a little juicy on this lady and see what happens. I think the male is still off the bed, but I don't know how much longer that's gonna last because he's gonna cruise right on over. Untie this, retie that. Quick about it, come on now, Weston. It's been a minute, we've been off the bed. Every time you retie, you got that confidence again and usually you'll get a, a good looking at the first couple times you rush into the bed so try a different approach see if she can't see me it makes a difference we almost had her that was good Got her. No way. No way. We got her. We got her. We got her. Oh my gosh. It's a big. It's a big. Oh, we got her. It took a while. Oh my gosh. Oh, I couldn't flip her though. I had to let her, I had to let her run for a second. That was insane. Oh, she's smart now. All right, guys, and with that miss right there, we are gonna call it. I've gotta get home and edit this thing to post in time for Easter. Of course, I'm gonna hear a bunch of stuff in the comments on how I could have got that fish up. Doesn't matter to me. I'll be back for and just trust me. I've uh I've worked a lot of fish in really quick before. And that doesn't always work out either. I was trying to play her out a little bit. She was fighting like no other. You saw it. And uh, she's good. She's good. So we'll have to come back for her. Until next time, guys. Peace out and happy Easter. <gasps>